afternoon, everyone. My name is Brent Phillips. I'm the Manager of Communications and Community Relations at Big Dev. So I'd like to give a very warm welcome to everyone, especially our friends from the Financial Services Ombudsman. It's great to see you here at Big Dev. So I want to send apologies from our CEO, Christine Matheson. She's in Sydney today, and she really wishes she could attend, so she is. Sends her apologies. Also, I'd like to acknowledge and welcome the financial, the Chief Ombudsman, uh, Shane Kregewitz. Good to have you here today. Big Dev is really excited to partner with FOS to produce this video you will see today called Sarah's Story. This video was produced through our Sign Language Video Productions service, SLVP. The uh, service was established to create accessible videos for deaf and hard of hearing people in Victoria, as well as Australia. We have a few partnerships with key governmental departments organization, and organisations to ensure that their information is accessible in Auslan and also captioned, so deaf and hard of hearing people can access the information. So we're really pleased to partner with FOS because this department is a, fi sorry, finances are a key part of our lives. We deal with banks, financial transactions, financial organisations in our daily lives. So, so to have this information for deaf people, so deaf people can uh, be aware of how to negotiate uh, financial services with the ombudsman alongside them is really important. This is a real collaboration between Big Deaf and FOS. Over the past few months, we've had extensive consultations to ensure that this video happens. I want to acknowledge the commitment from the FOS team to ensure that your information is accessible to deaf and hard of hearing Victorians. I'm sure you're very excited to watch the video, but before we do that, I'd like to introduce you to Shane Trigillis, uh, who will say a few words on behalf of the Financial Ombudsman Services. Thank you. streaming nationally to deaf societies and services across the country and to community services. As Brent indicated, my name is Shane Trigillis. I am the Chief Ombudsman at the Financial Ombudsman Service. Let me say a few words about what we do. Oz provides fair free and independent dispute resolution services to consumers who are unable to resolve their disputes with their financial institution. The businesses we deal with include banks, insurers, financial planners, mortgage brokers and others. Each year we deal with over 30,000 disputes. One of our key commitments is to be accessible to all Australians. This means being accessible across cities, regions, across the whole of Australia. But it's important that we don't regard accessibility just by geographic location. So the message of what we do and how we do it needs to reach far and wide, uh, but also needs to take into account the individual circumstances of all Australians. We recognise that the needs of Australians using our services can differ. Providing our services in different formats and languages and adapting the way we communicate is very important to us. We acknowledge this and hope that everybody who needs to access our service can do so in a 
to do so in the context of their own language. In the last financial year, we received 106 disputes from hearing impaired people. During the same period, we received 506 requests for translators, and only four of those were from Auslan. It's like to see the number grow. It might seem a strange statement. It's not because we want you to have more disputes with financial service providers, <laughs> but we hope that by what we are doing today and other work, uh, we are more accessible for people with hearing impairment to be able to use our services in a much more friendly, easier way. We know from experience that people learn from stories. It's a great Australian tradition. So it's my great pleasure to introduce the story of Sarah and her story today. Here is Sarah's story.
another type of financial service provider. And these things can happen suddenly, and in some cases can have quite dramatic and devastating impact on people's lives. <coughs> when I saw the video on Friday, I think it's also good because while files can help on some things, we're not a panacea that can solve all problems. In this case, what Foz could do was help Sarah take more control over her life, and that was important. But it couldn't overturn the contractual basis of the agreement entered into. I think it's also a great story, and we may need to provide some more education about the dangers of entering into guarantees. It's quite a common issue amongst families, uh, amongst partners that can cause ongoing financial issues that we often see. So I think we're very proud that we can provide a service that can offer the type of help you saw. I think we're also incredibly proud uh, to be here today um, to launch this video during National Week of Deaf People with everybody's assistance, Big Deaf, Video Production Services and Auslan. So on behalf of Foz, I'd very much like to thank uh, Lydia Rizzicato and Big Death for hosting the event, uh, Sasha Huff for her production work on Sarah's story, and of course the two stars of the video, uh, Trisha and Melissa. <laughs> I think they did a fantastic job. I'm told it took all day, many takes. Thank you to Brent, Brent, sorry, and my interpreter today, Sarah. Uh, and thank you to Melanie, um, who's in the audience, uh, our community relations advisor. She's the, the power and the force that made all of this happen from the false point of view. So thank you very much. to see this video launched today and I think it's really you're right this week is the National Week of Deaf People so it's a good start to the week to have this video launched. Uh, SLVP is a part of the Communications and Community Relations Department within Big Deaf which means in the next few days we'll be promoting this video quite widely through our networks and other deaf societies in Australia also Deaf Australia and through our social media presence. So the next few days, you'll see a lot of hits on the video online. So again, I would like to thank FOS for your commitment to ensuring that your information and services are accessible for deaf and hard of hearing people in Victoria, as well as Australia. And I would like to acknowledge the great work from Sasha to coordinate the filming and editing and the production of the video. So people behind the scenes, such as uh, Trisha, and Melissa, our actors, Anne, our language consultant, Ben, our filmer. There's a lot of people who work together to make this video happen, so I'd like to present my thanks to you. Okay, I think that's it for this afternoon. Thank you again for FOS and everyone for attending today. Thanks uh, to those people who are watching online around Australia. Uh, Big Dev look forward to working with FOS in the future to ensure that more information is accessible uh, to the community. Thank you.